Hey, thousands hitting the streets of Ybor City after last week's Gasparilla festivities weren't enough pirate invasions for them. The Santiago Night Parade taking over Ybor. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos spoke with Tampa's police chief about the way they helped things get off safely. The parade ended roughly two hours ago. Detectives say the biggest challenge now is people who don't know where they parked. Once again, pirates invaded our area, this time in Ebor City. We decide to come here to have a lot of beach. I love the music, the lights, and getting beats. <laughs> Tonight is a celebration of Tampa's civic pride. It's just the fact of, you know, catching the beads and being with the family and having something wholesome to do. Hundreds of Tampa police officers kept their eyes on the crowds and the areas around it. It's after the event also that we're going to have a large number, a large presence of police officers out here. And it's about safety, safety in numbers. Parade goers say they like seeing the high volume of police officers here tonight to protect them from any crime. We never had an incident in all these years, never. As people enjoyed the parade. We just come to this every year, love it. Officers want to make sure you get home safely. It's important though that people keep in mind they remember where they park. Especially if you're not familiar with this area, it can be confusing. This is the Knights of Santiago's biggest fundraiser. Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.